Hey guys, um, I wasn't going to do this video. I recently uh, went to a nude beach and it was just by accident. So I thought I was going to share that experience with you guys and just let you know some of the things that ran through my head that I guess all guys think about, you know, when they start to size themselves up uh, among other guys. And because I, I mentioned this because I get so many questions uh, about, you know, penis size and, and performance and all that stuff. I've got a whole email course on how you can increase the size of your penis, the, the, the girth, how to get harder, bigger, fuller erections. And I'll put the link to that. It's a free course, but I mentioned this because actually it was, uh, we went to San Diego and, uh, went paragliding and it was fun. And, you know, I got a little bit seasick up there. And then while you're paragliding, it's like really nice and all that. And then underneath it, there just happens to be like a nude beach. And uh, so my friend, she and I said afterwards, we're like, hey, let's just go take a walk down there. And and uh, so I went and I was like tired at that time walking down because I was like I said, I was a little bit seasick. But you walk down, it's like 20 minutes and then you're at this nude beach. And uh, so, you know, in my head, I'm thinking about all sorts of cool, fun stuff, but it certainly wasn't like that. I did see some interesting things, so that's what I'm going to share with you. So the first thing was, I noticed, you know, anyone's ever worried about the size of their penis and all that, don't worry, okay? Because you're watching way too much porn, and you're comparing yourself to a guy who is uh, genetically gifted to be in porn. It's kind of like if you, you don't compare yourself to Arnold Schwarzenegger, because, you know, hey, that guy just has good genetics. Because let me tell you, no amount of taking steroids or working out will ever turn you into Schwarzenegger or ever Chris Bumstead or any of these guys. So there's a genetic factor. And when you watch porn, these are porn stars, right? So they're designed to be big and so forth. So keep that in mind. I know a lot of you guys watch porn and you compare yourself to that. So when you go to a reality place and you go to a nude beach, it was the first time. So of course I'm looking and, uh, Everyone is like normal size or, or actually smaller and uh, no one's in shape. And, uh, but some, some interesting things I found, I actually realized that some guys who had like really small penises actually had really big balls and it wasn't because there was that discrepancy, right? Is the balls looked so big because the penis looked so small, but I have a theory that maybe their testosterone levels aren't optimal and their testicles keep wanting to produce more and more testosterone because as they've gotten older, their pituitary, whatever is just not working well, and it keeps pushing and pushing, but things just aren't being done well. So that's one of my lame theories. There's no scientific studies because I've also seen, you know, porn where the guy's balls are small and then the penis is huge. So in my head, doesn't like make sense, right? You would think, hey, big balls, more testosterone, bigger penis but anyhow it's not always like that the other thing is i made a video about showers and growers and i'll link to that video as well and a lot of these guys or most of them and the weather was warm right and it's not like people were in the ocean and the and um which I actually ended up getting naked later i'll tell you about that but a lot of these guys were definitely not showers all right um, I'm assuming they were either growers or maybe they just were small to begin with because you could barely see most of anything, right? And, or sometimes they had a lot of pubic hair, which I've mentioned how you can make your penis look bigger by manscaping better. Uh, all that hair will hide it. And again, I've got videos for that too, but that's another thing I noticed. So if you're ever self-conscious, again, I mentioned, I'm only bringing this video up because guys get in their own head. You're watching way too much porn and you're comparing yourself to that. It's kind of like going to the gym, like I said, comparing yourself to an athlete or going to play basketball and you're comparing yourself to Michael Jordan. It's a bad, bad comparison because if you look at really, real, really old porn from the 70s, most guys didn't have big penises. There's only the, there was like the occasional guy. Nowadays, everyone's got these giant ones and that's because they just get handpicked for that. Um, again, there are things you can improve the size and girth and all that. And I, I made, I'll put that link to that below. Uh, however, I did notice two guys, um, white guys, um, who did have above average size and, um, both of them, they were just walking back and forth on the beach 
and they just kept like every few minutes they would just pull on their penis right they would just pull it almost like remember i, I well if you haven't seen my my um uh, increased penis size videos in the email course i talk about jelking and which is a form of pulling or you can uh hang and all these different things i noticed both these guys who happen to have the bigger penises were just pulling as i mentioned a minute ago so <clears throat> it was just something interesting <clears throat> excuse me that i noticed so i thought you know it's running through my head so i just thought i'd share it it's like nothing important but maybe these guys are joking or doing these penis exercises that i mentioned that and that's one reason they have bigger or bigger penises and the rest of the guys there. So that was interesting. And, uh, but other than that, you know, I ended up actually going into the ocean, not, it was not my goal. I actually, true story, needed to pee like crazy and there was no bathrooms and, uh, there's no way I was going to climb up that mountain, which is going to take 20 minutes with a full bladder. So, um, my date said, you know, why don't you just go in the ocean? I was like, really? Well, all right. So if you're going to go in the ocean, I got to start taking off my clothes. And one thing led to another and I got fully naked. So there you go. Dr. Sam going to a nude beach. Um, maybe I'll show you some videos of that. <laughs> but anyhow, um, it was fun. Actually, it was a good time. It's one of those things you do once in a lifetime and you're like, you're kind of glad you did it. Uh, you know, nobody cared. It was cool. It was easy again. Um, and, and knowing how I look and how I felt, you know, I felt confident versus before I'm like, man, you know, probably all porn stars are at the nude beach, but anyhow, minor things just wanted to share off the cuff, off the top of my head. Wasn't going to do it, but why not? It's a piece of my life. And I technically typically very private, but, um, I put the links below, um, to penis enlargement stuff. And anything else I mentioned in this video, there's a link in the below in the description. Take a look. It's free. And uh, let me know if you have any questions or comments. 